going live. If it'll let me. There it goes. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in today's live stream, we're just hanging out. Um, <laughs> I have a cup of coffee left over from this morning that I'm drinking up before I get a fresh one. Um, but we are prepping for, we have a craft show this weekend. Hey Penny, hey Kelly. Um, we have a craft show this weekend and uh, I'm not prepared. I've been focusing on getting stuff sorted out in the house. Hey Jim, hey Amber, hey Mikio. <laughs> um, hey Jenny, uh, hey Corrine. Um, But yeah, and so it's just, oh hey buttons and rubbish. I didn't see, I'm sorry, it scrolls by so fast. <laughs> but um, oh, I'm so ill prepared. For the, it's the Maple Leaf Festival in Carthage, Missouri. No, I'm not right. Like, I've, I've made a few things. Do you guys want to see what I made so yeah, far? You want to see? Yeah, well, come over here and see. Oh, I probably didn't. Poor Randy. You should you should join me on YouTube. If you want to see. What? what? I showed you a bunch of this stuff. What? So I got a bunch of, hey, teeny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ember. How's it going, little kitty? Okay, I gotta put the elevator down for her. Um. <laughs> you wanna see her trick, how spoiled she is? Her trick? Is that hey, her Snoopy, trick is this is trick? the one trick that she does. Or is it your trick? She stands on it, and then the other. Oh, well, you gotta put all your legs on it, Ember. I, come on. Do you want up or not? Not in front of people. Not in front of people. And then I lift her up because she doesn't like jumping. <laughs> she's, old. She, she's not old. She's elderly. <laughs> oh, is she graduated past old? I don't know. I don't know. Elderly sounds like more dignity than just old. No. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so <laughs> will you be doing henna art? My friend wants to go if you are. I will be doing henna, which reminds me, if you could help me remember, Randy, to put some henna out to defrost. Sure. So sure. this is one that we actually have a tutorial coming out. Hey Sherry, hey Lisa. Um, yeah, spoiled cat for sure. But it's a, just a quartz crystal set in polymer clay. But I wanted to make it look kind of like one of our fairy houses. So there's that one, that got made. And that one, I'm not posting it for sale until after the craft show, hopefully it'll find a new home. You wanna sit down? You keep trying to tip your tray. <laughs> um, and then we have this was one, and I do real simple, like, basic wraps for whenever we're at craft shows and stuff because, you know, people might not have a lot of money to spend necessarily. <laughs> so this one, it definitely features less of the wire work and more of the, um, uh, just the crystal itself. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm loving on a kitty. Now this one I had shared a picture to, um... Um, this one I had posted a picture of on Instagram. I really love it. Angela asks, did you do a video on the polymer clay crystal? I did. It's not posted yet. I've been trying to get kind of ahead. She is being a lovey baby. Watch up, baby. Ow. And then she bit me. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep, yeah, that's Ember for you. But I really liked this one. It's probably one of my favorites from the batch. And then we have another just little one. <laughs> Cashew pumpkin spice bread? That doesn't even sound like Yes, it thing. does. Randy doesn't like pumpkins or nuts, so. Or spice. I like pumpkins. <laughs> you like pumpkins okay, I guess. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that'll rub your butt. Um, <laughs> where did you get your crystals? I got these crystals from the vendor who was across from us at SpaCon down in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um,. I'm not sure where they got them, though. It was kind of implied that they dug them out of the ground. So, Anime K asks, what's your favorite craft you have done? Well, so far, today my favorite craft is face painting. Oh my god, I'm addicted. <laughs> Bye, Amber. Hey, Derpy. <laughs> it's good to see you in here. <laughs> now that I'm not trying to feature the cat. Um, but yeah, this was one that just real simple little... 
cute little crystal. Big question is, will Randy make an appearance today? No say. No say. There's no telling. Um, oh my gosh. I'm allergic to my cat right now. Okay. And then this one's one that I really... I started experimenting... Yeah, you can see the wheel of his chair. We got a new scanner for all of our new digital content that we'll be uploading for our $10 patrons on Patreon. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then there's Randy. He's <laughs> <laughs> looking at... That is makeup on, Jim. It is my war paint. Oh, come on. But I'm trying to get to where I can lip wear lipstick without feeling like I look like the Joker. I'm working on it. But I guess because I'm so not used to seeing myself with anything other than, like, eye makeup on. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, my bangs need cut, so I have everything, like, pinned back. Because I think I'm going to grow it all out. I don't know. Just saw Ember sneak by. Sherry says, I have officially am addicted to making Jack and Ice, but I've been trying to do it on sunny days. But here in Oregon, it's hard to do that. That's fair. <laughs> Lisa says, Lamau, I want to know how to do that too, Vaughn, and I'm 52. <laughs> right on. Buttons says, nude lipsticks, warmer ones are nice for that. Right on. But yeah, today I just, I don't know, I go with lip stain. That way I don't like, and like, smear and like, really make a mess out of it. So, <laughs> uh, do you like Snazaru face paint? What is your favorite brand? Colleen, I have crappy face paint from Walmart. Um, like Halloween section Walmart. Like it was like two ninety eight for the whole palette and it's horrible. But I'm learning. I'm learning a lot about my facial structure and about just kind of even what this stuff can do. So oh here goes my kitty. Um hey Carrie, thank you. Um where do you get your dragon eye glass blanks? Hey Rick, I get them from Amazon. Most of the videos that I do now I put um links down in the um video description and so like my most recent painted dragon eye videos there's actually a link directly to where I bought those cabs that I was using what is your goal with the face paint special Halloween costume um yes but not just for Halloween like cuz I've been trying more and more to get into cosplay that I've heard Ben Nye, Mayron, and um Snazaru are the three that I'm really looking heavily into but then I also found just some like for like 10 bucks you can get 120 colors of like eyeshadow on Amazon so I'm like <laughs> um I need some of that uh so I don't know because I'm I'm thinking of getting I want to do airbrushing for the body because I want to be like completely not flesh tone like I want to see what it's like to be completely purple or completely green or you know just something um so I'm gonna get into airbrushing because I think and correct me if I'm mistaken but um an airbrush you can use that same airbrush on leather for leather working for body painting for foam like you can use the same airbrush like the base equipment for everything from makeup to leather working like right like it seems that way at least the air compressor so I might just use like different nibs but that, this is just one more thing that set me over the edge it's like that's it I have to get an airbrush but I would do full airbrush for the body do the like uh Mayron and stuff for like the filling in colors and then do like eyeshadow and different like glitz shimmer powders and stuff for all the little details is what I'm thinking because I have like nothing. I still use eyeshadow from middle school. Same palette, swear to God. They, like CoverGirl doesn't even carry that color anymore. And I'm like, <laughs> I still use it though. <laughs> I was just watching your videos with Polly McLean wire work as soon as my hand is better. <laughs> oh. I so miss not being able to do polymer clay right on. Well, I hope you heal up well. I know. Penny Penny says airbrush is awesome. You can use stencils even. And I, I didn't know that. And so I saw somebody using stencils and I had to stop myself from being like, cheater! Because in my mind, all of it was hand done. And I don't know. It. I'm jealous that they have stencils though. Like I want to use stencils. Um... <laughs> My dad painted leather and then styrofoam tombstones and vinyl lettering, all with the same equipment. Okay, super good to know. Hey, Christy. Hey, Izzy. Hey, Dion. 
snakeskin or scaled stencils. Okay, yeah, because that's, I want to be like a mer dragon, like a little fairy dragon or something. So, temp brand has some nice stencils. Okay, I was even thinking I might be able to make my own stencils, you guys. Maybe. We will see. <laughs> So I think I missed some questions while I was jabbering. I used to cover my kids and their friends in tattoos with Sharpies at birthday parties. The kids loved it. P.S. So did I. <laughs> right on, teeny. Oh, BB says I love your makeup. Thank you. It's I'm trying to get faster. And so I figure the best way to get better is to practice. You know, faster, more efficient, you know, everything. And so I did this in like three hours. No, it was maybe... 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I also put all my stuff away. So that's good. It's better to do two brushes, one for each thing. They clog up pretty bad if they're not for the right thing. I used to do airbrush tattoos at cons. Okay. Um, can, has anyone seen my creation? Which creation, is he? For the dragon eyes, can I just smooth them into the clay and then bake them or remove them and then glue them in? You can do either. Honestly, I just bake my dragon eyes. The only thing that I watch out for is some of my yellows have darkened down, like especially my neon yellow is not quite so neon if I've baked it for like 45 minutes. Um, and then I also always let my eyes, like I use eyes that are at least a few days old after being painted. That way they have time to cure and dry completely. Um, because uh, sometimes you can get a little bit of bubbling if uh, the enamel's still wet. Got my order in tidy of the glass eyes. Ooh, that's excellent, Snoopy. Will you let Randy airbrush the hard to reach spots? LOL. I sure hope so, because otherwise I'm going to be there with like I don't understand. a selfie stick or something trying to airbrush my back. Will you help me whenever I'm doing costuming to yeah. airbrush? Yeah, Randy says, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. She says, I look super pretty today. I just, it's rewarding myself for doing so good on my diet so far or not my diet my lifestyle changes have you ever done a winter slash snowy gnome home i have it's been about a year um but i did do one for i think january's giveaway last year it was like a little log cabin um i think i might do another one diane diane says good afternoon vaughn you look extra beautiful today love the makeup thank you wow i guess it's i didn't really go subtle with it though did i but I'm feeling pretty good. The lipstick was really bold when I first put it on because it's a lip tint. And then I wipe, tried to wipe a lot of it off. So we'll see how that goes. I may have missed this, but what are you wearing on your lips? I heard you say it was a stain, but it looks amazing on you. Jessica, I will show you. I'll go grab my thing. I'm so excited about makeup and like face paint and stuff here lately. So. the only two lip colors that I have actually um so Jessica I used this thank god they're durable <laughs> I used this. threw it on the ground I used this as the base it's an elf lip stain oh there's the color in nude nectar I don't know if you can see that but I got it at Walmart everything I get at Walmart that's the only place to get makeup around here. Walmart or Walgreens. And then this one is more elf in dewy berry. Now this one makes my lips tingle though. So I got an airbrush from my lovely brother last year for my birthday, but it's still sitting in the box. We'll have to learn how to use it together, What's teeny. Eyes and tree of life. Ooh. Write that site down that Buttons just mentioned. You'll want to see that site for sure. Temptu.com. Writing it down, Penny. T E M P T U dot C O M. Googled it. <laughs> Honey, will you airbrush my butt, please? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It's two twenty sixteen. LOL is two twenty sixteen. I've been saying LOL since. Shoot, Yahoo Messenger in middle school. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit before Yeah. <laughs> the view from the cam is really pretty now, Vaughn. We see much shiny wood floor. We get to see the animals passing. Right? And it's, I mean, I've already junked it up already. There's just tables and stuff everywhere. But I'm really liking the new craft room setup. 
hey Tanya we're just geeking out about makeup and like cuz to me it's I don't know it's still new and novel cuz I didn't wear a whole lot of makeup uh, ever really as a kid or in high school or anything is there an update on the porch kitten uh, no updates no news is good news but uh, I I really think she was the neighbor's cat and she got outside and I was going to kidnap another one of my neighbor's cats. Um, oh, Dreamed by Arlene says, Hi, Vaughn. Sneaking in during work break. You look so pretty today. Well, thank you. Elf does that to me also. Okay, so I'm not the only one who gets tingle lips. How are the bunnies doing? They're doing really well. Um, what are tingle lips? Well, whenever I put this on the first couple of times, it made my lips feel funny. Tingle lips. Don't That's just me. the cocaine. See, That's just the cocaine. Randy says, oh my god. Seeping into, your Seeping into your bloodstream. I think it looks really nice, but you still have a natural look to you. It's not heavy. Your eyes look amazing. Thank you. Well, it's, I don't wear powder or for foundation or anything because I don't like, it makes me feel gross. So, and then it breaks me out and I kind of feel like, what's the point of putting on stuff to try to give myself an even complexion if it's going to ruin what semblance of even complexion I might have going? I don't know. Elf lip stain and elf thingy and dewy berry. Got it. Thanks. I'm always searching for lip stuff that I won't end up smearing all over my face. And that's, I'd asked my friend Tracy with World of Strange because she's like, she's a goddess of like competence to me. Like she just, she does everything so well and she's so well put together. Like, I don't think she thinks so, but I admire her so much. And I was like, Tracy, how do you wear lipstick without being a dork? <laughs> Cause I'm there like a <laughs> button on lipstick. And, um, she's like, stain lip stain go with that stuff and I was like ah, change my life I didn't know it existed so <laughs> Bon is there a way of making a fairy house slash gnome house for use with real tea lights without it going on fire Zebedee I actually that cauldron one that you like so much I have burnt five what the cauldron oh god yeah oh my gosh it has been an interesting couple of days but we'll get on to that that cauldron one I've burnt five tea lights in so far no fire. The The main thing is just make sure you have a nice open top or you'll want like seven or eight inches away and maybe make sure that it's lined with foil or um, just something to keep the flame from coming onto contact with the wood. Like uh, maybe a glass top would work. I mean, so, uh, but yeah, open top is definitely the way to go if you don't want it catching on fire. But like none of the plastic or anything melted on that one. Yeah, it seems to have a lot of stencils and other useful things she can use. Good suggestion buttons. I haven't clicked on it yet. I just Googled it. So, <laughs> uh, ways to say Miss Vaughn all pretty today. I didn't tie my boobs up for you guys. I was going to put on my vest and, like, put on jewelry and stuff, but I did makeup and I was like, eh, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> what kind of toaster oven do you use to bake your polymer? There's no way that cauldron will fit in just any toaster oven. Actually, Vicky, what I did was I took the tray that goes like in the toaster oven and I sat it on top of the heat element in the bottom to make enough room. Um, but then it's just a regular like toaster oven, maybe six or seven inches deep. You can fit two trays in it though. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, but probably got it from Walmart. It was with the house when we moved in. So I don't really know where we got it from. Um... Izzy says, all your makeup looks great and weight loss. Izzy, I haven't actually weighed myself at all, but we have stuck to our meal plan for a week, maybe? How long has it been? I don't know, but we're still sticking about to it. Week. Do it? About a week. About a week. And it's, we only, yesterday, I ate macaroni and cheese, but I portion controlled it. But I had it some stress yesterday. It was, it was on the meal plan, so the rest of the day was like shuffled around. <laughs> Rio says, yee, I love makeup. Well, duh, I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> That's awesome. Kitty napper. Yeah, sorry. I feel like I'm getting behind on the <laughs> on the messages. But I feel good. Like, I'm getting to reply. Teeny says, I'm an aging goth, and I have eyeliner on before I make my coffee in the morning. <laughs> right on. My mantra is, you are the choices you make. Your lifestyle change is a good choice. Aw. Well, thanks, Kirsten. And it's honestly, I was thinking about it, and it's like, I really like my life right now. Like, I really like, every, I love it. I love all of it. I love hanging out with you guys. I love hanging out with Randy. I love just the way that everything's going. And I want us to be able to hang out 
and craft together for as long as possible. So we all need to take care of ourselves and each other so that, you know, 40 and 50 years from now, you know, I'll be like 80. Hopefully my hands and eyes will still work. Um, but I want to, I want to be around to keep doing this good thing for as long as I can because this is fun. <laughs> so that's kind of the motivator behind that. Catnapping. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing as an aging goth. We, goth, we were born old. I like coconut oil and baking soda on my face. Right on, Tanya. It's, I use, um, I use the baking soda in the shower, but then at night I put on, like, pure vitamin E oil. Just, like, I slather it just everywhere. So, <laughs> a lot of makeup will do that. I wear very little. Right on. I go for a scary but cute look. It suits me. I gotcha. I'm pretty much just, ah. Randy, sorry about those three matching chests. Better luck next oh, man, time. Oh, you were way far back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Oh, I'm, I wanted to read everybody's comments. Yeah, I've already answered them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am told I look much younger than my age. I believe it's because I don't wear makeup, just moisturizer. Right on. And that's... Honestly, I'm really grateful that, um... That I never got in... I never had the money to smoke or to really drink a lot. Because that can... Some of my friends who were hard partiers... It wrecked them pretty bad. Um, and then in addition to... I just, you know, chronic sunburns. So that's great for my flesh. My ex had her lips tattooed pink. Well, I guess you could bypass that altogether. If I weren't worried about how I'm going to get whale eyes as I get older, um, I'd get eyeliner tattooed on. Oh, yeah, and if I weren't horrified of needles and the concept of tattoos in general, I'll stick to henna. Um, oh, I just see where you replied. Be natural. Don't wear much makeup. Just enough to look natural, but enhance. Enhance. I like that. Enhance. Enhance. Mm. Okay, that made me wince just hearing you say, I tied my boobs up. That would hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I've got to catch up. Oh, no. Okay, good job. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is the devil, but it's a good devil. It's so good. Uh, oh, Boston. I've been in Boston Market since I was a kid. I am very physically respected girl and I thank you because I have more confidence in myself since I started to follow you. Right on. Well, power to us, BB. All the youngest, what are they saying? One of the t-shirts with right on coming. That's so you. And then you say, right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm so like, ah. Okay. La, la, la. What time is dinner? Yeah, pots of beans sound amazing. Amen. But I need to keep going. <laughs> oh, no. I'm an albino. Oh, closest thing to an albino. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm still scrolling, guys. <laughs> um, do you Sparky's asks, do you have an ETA of when you will have your five sixteenth jump rings available? I have no idea when we'll be able to we haven't even been able to cut and coil rings for ourselves because the last couple of spools that I got from the ring lord are like dead soft aluminum. I didn't know that. And so it makes it completely like the rings, it get like a uh, dirty way faster and they're brittle and they're breaking. And it's just like, so I don't even know. And on top of it, the other wire is still not in stock. So we can't even order the wire. Yeah. And then the spool of wire that I do need isn't even stock and it's been out of stock for like a month and a half. So don't hold your breath um, for getting rings from us, but I do have links in our videos now of where you can go to purchase your own rings. Like, um, I get them from the chainmail guy on Amazon. Very good rings, very good prices. I'm wondering... <laughs> I said oh, for the little guy's so 30 that's good to say. Right on. What happened to Penny? She had to stop all dairy and meats. She can only eat plant-based foods. Mm. Okay. Die. <laughs> Hello in Finland. I went ahead and just jumped to the bottom. I was so far behind. I've not ordered from Ring Lord since I got a really cold response. I make my own. Right? And that's... It's difficult. Because I've been buying from the Ring Lord for like 10 years. <laughs> like, and so for... Before they really even introduced most of their product lines. It's like they were still pretty new. Um, I think. You know, at least they're, they were new to me. Um, and to see kind of how their mentality and their business has changed... Um, over the years has been kind of like, but I, at the same time, I get it. It's hard whenever you're getting like hundreds of messages a day and you're struggling to like, you have to hire people and it's like all kinds of stuff. Penny said, Randy, I almost died a year ago, massive heart attack. And they told me they'd help me maintain the other two bad arteries. 
do what you gotta do, Penny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Melissa. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go put my lipstick back. But yeah, to answer your question, Jessica. Question. When following a written tutorial, would you give yourself extra wire as a rule or go with the tutorial suggestion as enough? Typically, like I, I think y'all heard Randy okay. It's uh, typically if I'm doing if I'm following a written tutorial, I give myself at least six inches more than what they say um, for the base wires, and then like quite a bit more for the coiling, because I'm not really good at following directions. So that way, like I'll kind of follow ish the tutorial, um, and then uh, oh, <laughs> well, I try my best to notice everybody, Melissa. But it's, it really does. It scrolls and scrolls and scrolls, the comments do. Um, but yeah, it's like I, I deviate quite a bit from what the tutorials say. And some tutorials are better than others. Some of them are very accurate about how much wire it takes. And some of them, that's why I don't do written tutorials, are like, do about this much. And then like halfway the tutorial, it's like, do about this much more. And it's, no. It, <laughs> so... Julie says, hi, Yvonne, what are we doing today? Well, so far, I was about to put my lipstick away, lip stain, um, and then I was going to come back, and I was going to show you guys a few more things that I made, and then I was going to try to make more stuff for the, um, what was I talking about? For the craft show this weekend. I need more coffee. I'll be right back. Following a tutorial really is learning. And Melissa says that you're at Dragon Con. My mom loves her silver pen. Ah, I'm so glad she likes it, Melissa. What does Jason say? I followed it to the teen, ran out quicker than I should. Right on. Here's an axiom I feel you may like. Creativity is giving yourself permission to make mistakes. Art is knowing when to keep. Which ones to keep? Yep. <laughs> What's the best place or the best wire weave to make snake pattern? Wire weave to make snake pattern? I'm not sure, like, the Snake Weave by Lisa Barth, or, like, um, hey, Sherry, sorry, uh, the bunnies are doing great, it's, we've got them out in their tractors, they're mowing the grass for me, um, hello to Randy as well, hey, Julie, Julie says hey, I saw, oh, <laughs> hey in the Netherlands, um, but yes, okay, so this is another one that we did, but if the question was about well, congratulations, Pamela. Said made a shark tooth wire wrap pendant and turned it into a ring for a customer. Sold it. Yay. <laughs> Going to be a flat cuff. I, uh, Jason, I missed the first part of your question. Um, it was about the snake weave. Oh, for a cuff? Um, yeah, I, would, I would use 18 gauge and 26 gauge wire for... Is Gus, Gus Bunny actually passed away. When it got really hot, we lost a couple of rabbits. Um, and it was, he was, old. He, he was pretty old though. He was like eight years old. So there's that, but yeah, there's this one that I was pretty pleased with. And this was, sorry, the dogs are making, did you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> this one was undrilled. So I really wanted to experiment with different ways of holding in stones. And then this is another one that I really liked getting uh making for the craft show with a little amethyst faceted stone <laughs> and then last one I, I was doing a lot with amethyst i really like amethyst uh just another really simple wire wrap just enough to hold the stone <laughs> Melissa says, hello, Randy. Can't leave you out. You need recognition even though you're behind the scenes. He does deserve lots of recognition. It's for a Cleopatra, Cleopatra costume snake arm cuff. Okay. You might actually want to go with, I would still use a 26 or a 24 gauge. Um, but uh, I would go with like maybe a 12 or 14 gauge base wire if it's for an arm cuff. Because those can take some damage. Or you need something like really really sturdy do, 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 do. um Jim you had asked if I had um did you get the troll Randy mm -hmm. okay 
Chain mailing question. Using anodized aluminum to coil, how do you harden it from dead soft to half hard? Um, all of the anodized aluminum I have ever used uh, was made with half hard wire that you coil and then you anodize it because it can go through, it can get really scratched up taking the anodized wire and then coiling it. But to harden it down, um, oh, and maybe toss it into a tumbler with some... Um, I don't think rice hulls would do it. Um, hope that works for you about where to send pics. Oh, right on. Um, I don't know, because the stainless steel shot would, I'd worry it would wear off the aluminum, like the anodizing. So I'm not sure. Uh, it might be something that go ahead and use that batch of rings for um, something that's not load bearing, like maybe an earring or something. Right on. Manny says, to harden my aluminum rings, I use a rubber mallet before working with them. Right on. Possibly plastic BBs. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to just toss them in there and see. But again, I would worry about wearing off the, um, the anodized coating. So that would definitely be something, I don't know, to experiment with. But yeah, it's a short of, I hope it's not too big of a project because hammering every single one would be um, time consuming. <laughs> Not what sure is it? If you answered this or not? Uh huh. It says, when you bake your fairy house, do you use a food grade oven or a giant toaster oven? I've used both for my polymer clay. Like, um, sometimes some projects are just too big, and I put them into my regular gas oven. I put the heat down to 250 instead of 275 because I really don't want to risk any, like, um, burns or anything. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Sorry, the question was, what is the difference between Nightbot and Mod Randy? And Randy says, I can feel. <laughs> He's like, no, you can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But um, shout out to Nightbot. And no, Nightbot is an automated um, thing that just posts the links that we do, which this is something that we're introducing in November. Is it, what month is it? Yeah, in November um, is for our $50 patrons. And I haven't even released this to the Patreon, like patrons yet. But um, to our $50 tier, if you have a company that you would like us to promote, because I've been testing it out with um, Le Ruin Cosplay and Hidden Thicket and Randy, um, you know, having them as like their links posted. Um, if you have a link that you would like us to post, we will have you on as one of our sponsors and we will do posts like this. Well, you can't see. I'm pointing at the screen. But if it's a lot for me, I've got like right here on the screen, the live there's like text and stuff. Chat sessions yeah during the live chat sessions the names will pop up and then i'll also list you down in the video description as um you know oh, well it's like mikio i could promote if you were a 50 dollars pledger i could promote your um your rescue thing that you do you know so it could be not necessarily your youtube channel but your facebook page like since it's my channel i can put whatever links in um yeah and it's like, so a kind of sponsorship opportunity. Cause I feel like for 50 bucks, like I need to focus more on the digital content that I'm providing to my patrons because I've been trying so much to just do like physical, tangible things. Yeah. With the rescue as I was, the word was gone from the tip of my tongue. Um, but, um, yeah. And so, cause I know that like Valerie Lord, she's She's been a $50 patron for like ages now and she sends me all kinds of cool free stuff and things and I'm like, how can I give back to her in a way that literally is costing me nothing because I am out of money? <laughs> um, oh, well, Buttons, the 50, you still get a monthly kit. Like you get a really big monthly kit. Um, yeah, she does. Valerie's amazing. <laughs> um, but it's like you get other things as well and we've been thinking about potentially making a lower tier that mm -hmm. rotates out and we were thinking about doing the sponsorship at a lower tier as well where we can rotate it out because i don't want to just be spam you know night bot to become spam bot and just like posting link after link after link after link because to people coming and going in the chat that would be very overwhelming but <laughs> right on Diane says it's a great way to give back to people that support you and it's I I it was Randy's idea and I was like that's a really good idea um because it's I have completely maxed myself out on um the amount of time that I can put into things and so stuff's having to give um and 
like, so this was something that we were able to do that isn't going to cost us, I mean, any more time than just putting the links in. Um, but yeah, so keep that in mind, you guys. But no, for the $50 tier, you still get five entries into all of our giveaways. You get a great big, um, oh, hey, Nina. Nina says, just popping in to say hi. I can't watch you tonight in my car driving. Stop to say hi. Can I continue driving? I see road in dark. Gonna watch you later. Drive safe, Nina. Yeah, please get off the phone. <laughs> yeah, get, well, she pulled over. Okay. To say hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and that's, I just make stuff. Randy is the smart one who comes up with all the ideas and saves me from myself whenever I'm like, yeah, I can send stuff out every month for $10. And then it's like, I don't have money to buy groceries. Will you buy me groceries, Randy? Um, yeah. <laughs> but so that's just one of the many ideas. But um, also found out yesterday um, the question is, Jeanette asks, hey Vaughn, do you have a preferred email address? Back to Earth Creations, all one word, no underscores, at yahoo.com. Um, but it can take me a while. I'm not very good at managing, um, my messages and stuff. And that's something I was going to say is I actually found out that yesterday, um. Ah, oh, crap, that's the wrong one. Uh, what is it? I don't have it. One. Well, it's I usually send people to the website and have them do a contact form, but my email account started stacking all the contact forms together. There it is. Oh, okay. Which one was it? Excited email? Excited web. Mm. Um, Hobby Lobby has Parawire in the same. What's the difference between hard and dead soft when you're purchasing? It doesn't always say on the package. Most of Parawire stuff is dead soft. Um, that's a winner situation, Vaughn and Randy. <laughs> Uh, look at the big brain on Randy. That's a movie quote. <laughs> Can't remember which one right now. I need more coffee. It's for people that laugh or don't uh, actually laugh at their own dumb jokes. Oh. Have a rather large and good commission for you. We'll send details. Oh, right on. Sounds great. One piece I did, I saw it did, and it's twice the price. I have polymer kite question. How thick should a pendant be? So it is hard after baking. Um, Linda, if I'm not putting any like metal setting on the back of my polymer clay, I try to have it be at least two thicknesses of the thickest setting on my pasta roller. Like if that makes sense. So like quarter of an inch, you know, five millimeters. Hey, Sajel. Hey, Nerdana. <laughs> hey, Julie in the UK. Thoughts to the hive mind. Is a Star Trek character an okay Halloween costume? Um, yes. I actually have friends who do casual cosplays and just dress up as Star Trek characters to, like, go grocery shopping, like, or, to, like, to work, because it's kind of office garb. Um, so. <laughs> okay, um, so I showed you guys the pendants that we made. I'm going to clean up a little bit more of my mess here on the table that y'all can't see. Um... I think I'm actually going to grab the tripod. What? Do you want to grab the tripod? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Linda. Okay. So, yeah, I still have stuff left over on my work surface from, uh, from doing this guy. Bitty idea, your own Halloween makeup tutorial. Whitney, I actually, I just released today to our Patreon, um, to our patrons, the sneak peek previews of yesterday, um, <laughs> thanks Cedar. Um, I did, I did some face paint yesterday. It was my third time doing it. And I've been posting a little bit of stuff to Instagram, but yesterday I got video of it. Um, and I'm really pleased with how it came out. And it's like, so I got some pictures and I sent it to my Patreon folks. I was like, hey, look it. <laughs> Question. Your 16 gauge jump rings, are they AWG or SWG? They are SWG, I think. Standard, I think. Standard. Yeah. Maybe. Have you done a 5D diamond painting? A what? 5D diamond painting. I have not. I've done my first one and I'm about two thirds finished. Huh. No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Ah! Lisa says, yes, loved the sneaky peeksies. <laughs> right? <laughs> My little boy has a t-shirt that makes him look like Bones from the original Star Trek series. I just need to make him a little badge. Oh, that'll be cute, Hannah. 
Hey River, not a whole lot. We've been shooting the wind mostly. I was gonna go grab the tripod that way I can have the camera here and I can like still talk and function and y'all can like see what you're doing. Oh, well thanks Fussy Do. Fussy Do says you look so extra pretty today. <laughs> but no, it's, I am, today I'm enhanced. I'm like, I wanted to test and see how my lipstick would hold up, lip stain would hold up. Thank you. It's like wings for days. You can take flight off of that wing. <laughs> hey, Alyssa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing really good. I'm kind of tired. My coffee's not hitting me the way I wanted it to. Um, but that's okay. Love the wings for days. Yeah. Well, this one went way far farther than what I meant for it to, so then I had to try to make this one match, and I was like, my, ne my face isn't symmetrical anyways, it's, it's a lost cause. Tripod, I'll be back. Holy crap, it's still bungee to a lamp. Yep, that's why I didn't want to get it. I don't feel like doing the craft show this weekend. I'm so lazy. It's just in two days. I know. But it's so early. We have to get up at like three in the morning and I don't want... <laughs> yeah. Yvonne. It always happens with the wings right on. Yeah, a little by. clump of Z dust flew by. She thought it was a bug. Do it, Randy. We had a Gouda and ham omelet for breakfast, and that made me really happy. Did you like yours? I'm in math. My teacher is so monotone and boring. River, pay attention. River, pay attention to your math class. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What is that, Vaughn? Oh, I don't know. What's what? <laughs> okay. Well, duh, Dutch cheese. <laughs> right on. Is the room layout working well for you guys? I do think it is. I think the room layout is working pretty well. You would be so proud of me, Vaughn. I'm finally getting all the stuff I need to make videos. Yes, Manny, do it. <laughs> I'm having to get used to not reading the night bots messages. Uh, right. It does, it can take a little bit of just mustering it up, but, um, but, it, the first step's the hardest, it really is. But once you get that, I got to not be at school by pretending to be sick. I can't use a Dremel on my air, but I have to use a big drill set on super slow with tiny Dremel buffing wheel. Looks odd. Huh. Ooh. Okay. I was, just tutor I was just tutorial on alcohol ink on polymer clay. What do you think about it? Never used it, though. I've seen it done, but I've never used the alcohol ink personally before, and I really want to, because that's something that I think it has beautiful, such vibrant effects. Okay, so I figure we'll just keep hanging out today. A different view of the corner of the craft room. But yeah, so this is, for all y'all who are wondering, this is how I'm doing my meal planning. I printed it off from the internet, and then I just fill in the days with the meals. Um... And then whenever I eat it, I highlight it. So you can see I'm a couple days behind. We didn't really plan today, though. So I got to do my meal plan real quick. Smash the leg button, gang. Oh, well, thank you. What? James. what? Or Jim. Dremel runs too fast. Melt it right? all in one piece of amber. Amber does smell oh, delicious, nice, though, doesn't it? It's, like, amazing. Like, so good. Okay, so we had omelet. Omelet du fromage. Fruit and cheese from a snack. Snicky snack. And then what are we going to have for lunch today? Yeah, what's on the meal plan? 
nothing. It's a big empty spot on the meal plan. Five sandwiches. You want sandwiches? You can I have soup in a sandwich for lunch? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Soup and sandwich. And then yogurt. For <laughs> I was going to ask what you ate right on. <laughs> um, and then for dinner, Thai basil pork. Oh, that sounds great. Do I need to set more pork out? I did this morning. We'll probably need to go and get more peppers, though. Oh. We'll have to run to the store. Thai basil pork. Because I have that one little green pepper is all I have left from the, uh, oh, buttons, you're killing me. So just pulled my bread out of the oven. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you taunt me. <laughs> my Wi-Fi is broken, so I'm curled up on the floor in the corner of my room so I can get the free Wi-Fi from the park across the street. <laughs> Oh, Jim, that sounds yummy. Penny says, don't you have a heap from your garden? Well, first off, my chickens are butts. Um, and they ate, like, half of all of my tomatoes and peppers that were down in, like, beak level. Um, <laughs> and so, no, I don't. <laughs> and it makes me really mad. <laughs> um, because I, I knew it was going to happen, though. But I was like, my chickens just needed to get to run loose. Um... Or bug problems under control again. Uh, oh, the chickens totally made a buffet of the garden. But my garden cleanup's going to be a lot easier now because they've already demolished everything. Um, and then next year, though, I'm doing, yep, some netting so that the birds can't eat them. Because that's, they got our raspberries to see the, everything. They ate my strawberry plants. Um, <laughs> like straight up. So, um... Then, good lord. <laughs> Do you hear that bug? I keep hearing a bug and it's freaking me out. Well, I don't hear it now. No. <laughs> I'm doing crock pot meals so easy when you prep in bulk in advance. I agree completely, Whitney. Where you at, bug? I hear you. Um, but the meal prepping? <laughs> I'm getting hungry and I've had my dinner. Oh no, Hannah! <laughs> Still cooking bean soup with smoked pork neck bones right now. Smells yummy. I bet. Hey, Izzy's in Nashville. Um, we got like, cause it's, I think I'm going to call it on, on my Instagram, on all my food posts now, I'm going to start doing hashtag rather be crafting. And you're like, would rather be crafting. Um, but it's like doing, like we made like nine salads like we bought all the salad stuff but instead of assembling the salad one at a time as we ate them I just got the Tupperware and um uh Alyssa says do you stream often because I'm a noob to your channel and I don't know this stuff I try to stream every Tuesday and Thursday and then the rest of the time it's kind of like hopefully regularly scheduled um tutorials and stuff <laughs> so um, but Tuesday and Thursday is a kind, is a time, right, Mikio? Stop taunting us, Jim. Um, you could always do a cooking stream to make it more fun. You know, and I was wondering about that because, like, earlier in the spring, I, st I still did quite a few of my gardening videos. Um, and it's like, some people sent me messages and were like, you really need to just focus. I really hate how you do this. And I'm like, then don't watch. Like, I'm not making you watch my gardening videos like it says pretty clearly gardening and then like blah 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 and so it's but I guess just having it show up in their feed was infuriating to them so um so I stopped doing it as much because I'm like I'm not gonna let your grumpy butt ruin what I enjoy so I just went and gardened by myself um <laughs> right yeah the kitchen's a disaster right now um Fussy says, I love all the different things you do. People can stick it. And that's, that's pretty fair. Do you know of an easy way to make your own tools? I want to carve a pumpkin, but I only have a leather man. Oh, I don't know. Last year I did a lot of carving on a pumpkin just with a box knife and a spoon. So, <laughs> have you ever seen or had a moon cactus? I love them so much. I haven't, Derpy. Zephyrin says, I liked your garden videos too. And see, that's, I'm wondering if I shouldn't re-implement the... One day it's a tutorial, next day it's a garden vlog, kitchen thing, like, kind of lifestyle. Because it's like, Trisha, you'd be surprised at how many rude people we get. Because it's like, I try to be really patient with folks. But after yesterday, I'm pretty done with 
uh, people right now. Like, normally I can just, like, haha, you know, like, laugh it off and, like, kind of move on. But I'm, like, I'm on my edge, you guys. <laughs> right on. Button says, I think the appeal is that you don't know what kind of video you're getting. Right on. Um, but, uh, it's, I don't know, because I want to keep it fresh and I want to keep, am I an unicorn? Is that... Is that an onion or a unicorn? A perno I'm not gonna get into it too much. Um, because I feel like like I'm not the type to vague book, you know, post. I'm not the type to like but it's just I don't know. I'm frustrated with human beings a little bit. Um, because it's like all I can do is try my best. Mm -hmm. And if if you've just decided that you're gonna rail into me for being me, then all I can do is apologize, like I don't know, you know, like, but that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, <laughs> right, right, and that's buttons, it's a really good point, um, plus you don't want to lock yourself into a scheduled format with your lifestyle, and that's something, that's something that, you know, is really, uh, I don't do well with a schedule, and that's definite, and that's why I'm really glad to be live streaming with y'all today, because this, like, enlivens me it gets that fire back up under my butt and um <laughs> tell them they can pick a video when they're 100 dollars patrons it's that's fair yeah, i got that for my 50 dollars tier <laughs> yeah randy's like well, that's my 50 dollars tier uh i must have missed missed something as well oh no sorry it's it's just festering under the surface is all but no oh well thank you joanne but it's no uh what happened Fine, I'll tell you guys. What happened is, it turns out, I had not been getting my Patreon messages, like, private messages on Patreon. Like, I'd get them, but for anybody who uses the Patreon app on your phone, you can't check. it's not really that great. Like, and I have no idea how to check my Patreon messages from the app, so I'd have to log in on my computer. Um, and I got just a couple, from a couple of different folks, actually, like, really hateful emails about being greedy because I'm no longer doing the um shipments for the ten dollar tiers which I still haven't completely figured that out yet but I've introduced the concept that it may be digital content heavy on the ten dollars as opposed to sending you a kit every month since it's five dollars to ship so that was one thing I had somebody else giving me a bunch of comments about how I'm a satanist and I'm like honey I don't have time for religion <laughs> so it's just like and but because it's October and you make a cauldron. Because it's October and I made a cauldron, I'm a devil worshipper. And I'm like, well, whether I am or not, it's none of anybody's business. That wasn't the focus of the video. And, um, right. I, and I know, Penny, that there's no way to please everybody. But then, um, but then I did. I logged in to my Patreon and I had 80 messages. And s all of them were very nice. Like, it was, there were a couple in there that really, like, touched Randy and I and helped us get through the day because it was getting kind of rough there at the end of the day. Um, but no, it was just, I don't know, something in the water, everything all at once. So, <laughs> thank you guys. You guys are so supportive. Thank you so much. Like, um, hate has begun. <laughs> But you said sorry and you were so lovely. Izzy, I don't know. I tried my best. Like, it's because I know that I'm, I'm really bad about being far behind on custom work. And so there's been lots of times this year, this year where I've just refunded people their money. Like, they didn't even necessarily ask for a refund. I was like, I'm sorry. I have failed you. Like, I should have had this done ages ago. Here is your money back. And then more often than not, I do try to still send it to them. Just because it makes, that's how I sleep at night, you know, but it's like, um, <clears throat> sometimes I guess folks can't resist the urge to be jerks and just have at me and I'm like, I did all I could. You're the one being a bitch now. <laughs> like, it is. But I'm going to move on from that. Let's make some jewelry, you guys. That's how I deal with the world. So I did my meal plan for the rest of the day. And then whenever I'm not on camera with you guys... Um, I'm going to log into my fitness pal and, uh, shake it off, shake, shake it off. Yep. Um, 
and figure out how many calories it is. Because I'm limiting myself to 2,000 calories a day, which is how much a person should probably normally eat anyways. But left my own devices. I'll eat like four or 5,000 calories in a day. Um, so 2,000 is like a little for me, so <laughs> which is really bad. Um, and I think I found my notebook, you guys, that has our show schedule. Let me see. Yep. Where was it? Buried. It's the one that got coffee dumped all over it this morning. Oh, so it was buried right in front of you. No, I had found it, and that's why it was right there, and uh, that's why it got coffee dumped on it. <laughs> yes, jewelry, yay. <laughs> so, I don't know. I figure if I can complain to you guys once every year and a half that that's good thank you guys for letting me bitch and moan about how awesome everything is um but still haven't heard back from ohio con we have our fingers crossed and that'll be in january um we're hoping to get in as vendors if we don't get in as vendors we think we might still just go and teach some classes which reminds me i, I need to sign up for teaching classes before the 31st then in february will be vision con well, that's the thing is we find out simultaneously whether we get in. It's too big a show for you to do if we get in. That's fair. Um, Columbus, Ohio, actually, Diane. Um, in February, we're actually, it's still tentative because I haven't typed up my writer and mailed my writer in yet to them and to work out the finer details. But we will be out <laughs> at VisionCon. What would you laugh? It really isn't hard to eat 5,000 calories a day. I do whole lines of Oreos. I do lines of Oreos? What? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we will be at um, we'll be at Kansas City Comic Con in November. And then the weekend directly after, we'll be guesting at uh, Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con in Memphis in November. Um, but yeah, so Vision Con in Branson, Missouri in February. Um, Mid-South Con in Memphis, Tennessee in March. Um, we were looking at doing Anime Con Arkansas in Little Rock in April, um, just cause it's so close and that's such a busy time of year putting stuff into the ground. And then we'll be doing Anime St. Louis uh, in May. In June, hopefully I'll be guesting at CosplayCon in Jefferson City, Missouri. And then in July we'll be, I still haven't contacted them, but hopefully I'll be at least teaching panels and stuff at Tokyo and Tulsa. Um, and then in August, paid for Tokyo and Tulsa. we have paid at Tokyo, but I don't know, like I was going to try to come and do like a bunch of panels and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Um, in August, we were thinking mm -hmm. about doing Gen Con. So that might be cool. Inamu! Yep. <laughs> what is a keyboard cowboy? What is a keyboard cowboy? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Um, mad props to you and Randy. You've grown so big so fast. I'd be overwhelmed with anyone. I would like to see the keyboard cowboys do better. Put up or shut up. Oh, I guess maybe trolls or, I don't know. Um, any chance you'll ever make it to Comic Con in San Diego? Shannon, probably honestly, not. probably not. That one is so expensive just to go to. Um, a lot of, you'll probably notice if you search any of these that we go to, most of the conventions that we attend, um, are kind of smaller. Um, and that's because I very much prefer getting to meet you guys. And, like, for those of y'all who met me at Dragon Con, we didn't have time to hang out. We didn't have time to do, you know, anything. Um, it's short of, like, hey, you know, and then, you know, kind of move along. Um, but, of course, I'm not ruling it out. And that's something that in the past, this is actually the meagerest show schedule I have ever in my life put together. Because most of the time, from, like, March until August... Back to back to back to back to back to back to back shows um, is how it's been in the past. And I'm like, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Everything in San Diego is so expensive. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, because we'd have to fly out for it or drive for three days, which either way you look at it is expensive and, <laughs> you know, stuff. So we might one day go just to go, but I don't know if I would ever go as a vendor. People that sit behind the screen and act all hard and better than others. Oh, as a keyboard cowboy. Okay. <laughs> On the outside, I'm fine. I'm happy. But deep, deep down inside my shoe, my donut cat sock is slipping off. <laughs> wow. That's my life right now. And I'm not even wearing socks. 
<laughs> what? No, Mikio, and I insist upon this, if any of y'all ever see me anywhere ever, it doesn't matter what I am doing, go, hey Vaughn, and I'll be like, <laughs> like, definitely. So, my kitten was watching you typing your phone, she says hi, hi Christy's kitten. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, and then we've only planned up to August. We might do Gen Con. I'd like to try to be a guest at GlitchCon in Springdale, Arkansas, Ar Arkansas, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, if we can, but, um, we don't know yet. That's kind of, kind of far away in the future, but I have that mentality, and then before I know it, it's too late to apply as a guest, or they've already filled out their budget, or their vendor room is sold out, um, so, again, though, if y'all saw something on the list that you're like, hey, maybe you could come to this convention while you're in this area, um, we could do that. Because something that I have been thinking about doing um, is uh, getting my head on straight, um, is whenever, like, if we're in Columbus, Ohio, for the convention to book a workshop at a Joann's because they let you rent out that room um, to do a, a workshop there like the you know Wednesday prior um, that way we could do like a meet and greet hands-on class or something um, but it's just I don't know that's we'll have to figure it out we'll have to kind of play it by ear and see but it was just an idea but was ideas all the time I can see it's Columbus Convention is called OhioCon. It's O H A Y O C O N. It's an anime convention, but it's just fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if she Jim says to, Tandy lets you give classes too, and that's that's a lot of it. Um, but I, I'd like a more private uh, work class environment than what most Tandy Leathers can offer. That way we we can just be loud and hang out and stuff and not like distract the regular customers. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to try and make Archon next year. Oh, Sparkies, I'm really hoping. I don't know yet if we'll be able to do Archon or not. Um, I, I did a couple of panels this year and hopefully maybe next year they'll let me come in as a guest panelist because our panels were very well attended. Um, and it'd be great if they'd let me teach more than just two of them, but yeah, it's, well, it's far enough away that we don't know if it's going to overlap with other stuff or, um, I cannot see that far into the future. So do you like kitty mews? Like, is that a person or like a cat meowing? So if I run into motel's confess room, <laughs> maybe, and that might be something I actually haven't looked into it at all to see how much it would be. Um, because I, I'd rather not have to charge for the meet and greets um but it's like I don't know we'll see but it's like if we could craft in person you guys that would be so cool um speaking of crafting Vaughn um <laughs> don't scar me like that scare me I think you really meant scar <laughs> yeah <laughs> I could recognize you in public by either your cosplay tie-dye or your giggle yeah that's um yeah always wearing this though the, the, the combo <laughs> I could <laughs> a cat do you like kitties I'm a crazy cat lady oh gosh I do love cats my cat's trying to sneak by right now but she can't I got you on camera cat she's like yeah whatever don't ignore me Ember she's like what meow yeah, food. her little tail food for me okay she's a good girl you're a good girl that's right <laughs> You could always come to my home and craft me would be a dream. Right on, Tanya. It's, I don't know, I feel better about having, like, um, an environment where we could have a bunch of people, because some of us are strangers to each other, because there's a lot of people in here who don't comment, but they would be welcome to the meet and greets as well. Like, everybody would be welcome. And so that way, it's, I don't want anybody, any one person to have to open their home to a bunch of possibly crazy people, because let's face it, we're all half crazy. Um, and, but if we're just, like, in a public venue, like a hotel conference room or, like, you know, um, something like that, then it's, I don't know. I think it'd be Not cool. Go away. Oh, Randy's opening up the scanner. A collaborative group concert would be awesome. And that's something, too, is that I was really hoping by sharing my show schedule very openly with you guys that we could potentially meet up at conventions and things because some of them it's really e easy to just hang out 
um, like it's they already have the venue and all the hard stuff uh, figured out. All we have to do is show up and have fun. <laughs> so, group is snacks, lol, right? <laughs> so, did you put the box for her to play with? Yeah, and she ignored she's completely it. Ignoring it. You could create a crafting retreat with a cost per person to attend. Yeah, right? Um, bye, Trisha. <laughs> and Randy and I have kind of bounced around different ideas like that. Hey, what are those? What? I could use These those. These are teeth. I want to see. No. Let me touch it. Stop it, hoarder. Ah. Go away. <laughs> no, really, Randy. Oh, I'm hoarding more trash, you guys. Ooh. This paper's got the Japanese on it. <laughs> you got Japanese on it. Oh, I got Japanese on it again. <laughs> Cheese with that wine. What? <laughs> Sorry, I drying rack fibers on that. Is what I was thinking, Manny. Um, yeah, it's I've applied to the Indiana Comic Con. But they haven't sent me an invoice or anything yet. So, yeah. I need you, you as much wait, wait. as you say you need us. I'm disabled, only 51, and feel useless often. But you and Randy really make my day. Ah, uh, high five, Ellie. That's me high-fiving your knuckle bump <laughs> or something. <laughs> it's not hoarding, it's upcycling. Yeah, Randy. No, I mean, it's hoarding. Oh, that's a nice looking scanner. It is. You did good picking that. Didn't I? Mm-hmm. Guys, we have a scanner now. I'm going to be able to scan stuff and we can put, because like my corset pattern, I'm going to be able to scan it, turn it into a PDF and have it available for free download, well, for download to um, our $10 patrons. We'll have access to all of our to, um, templates. Um, and then I'm also going to put them up for sale on uh, Etsy for immediate digital download, because I think Etsy does that. Um, whereas prior, I couldn't do that because I don't know how to, like, put stuff on my internet uh, website. Um, don't worry, Vaughn. I save every single cereal box I finish. You guys, this is embarrassing, but there's an entire room in my house that's filled up with cardboard. I, just I'm just hoarding there. cardboard for, I don't know why, but come the end times, I'll have cardboard. Um, but I don't know how much I'm going to charge for the patterns on Etsy. Um, some of them might just be a dollar. Um, claps for scans. <laughs> um, yep, Etsy ah, does have PDF downloads right on. There it goes. Don't break it. <laughs> it's supposed to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's, I think that's why I started saving the cardboard sure. was for in the garden. But yeah, gym leather templates, I tape watercolor paper to them, uh, whenever I do watercolors. <laughs> that way I don't have to buy a bunch of, like, masonite boards. Um, all kinds of stuff, so... Nope, that's hoarding. LOL, but she'll do something cool with it, so it's okay. It's hoarding hoarding with potential. I make other people save their cardboard for me. Empty bottles also. <laughs> right? But, uh, no, because I, I saw this, and it's these little slots here on the side. I was like, I don't know. I should probably just recycle these or something. Or attack Sam with them. Like You're making messes. There you go. You do it like this, and then you, you chop it sand. What are you even doing? What? <laughs> Sam's confused. Oh, poor Sam dog. It's okay, baby. I love you. Yeah, daddy's weird. It's okay. And now you will have nightmares. Hey, Amanda. Thanks for subscribing. You can build a shelter when the apocalypse comes. Out of cardboard. So I'll be fine until it rains. You'll be homeless. I'll be homeless. And then Ember's back there. Boop. She's like, oh, did you say my name? She's so chubby. I love her. That's what I say about you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Hey, Allie. Okay. When the, oh, no, Sherry. I don't know, Izzy. That's up for debate. What's that? You can sell your Are cardboard you for drug okay? journals and handmade journals. Hmm. She has a cute walk. Then she river. Okay. So this is one of my custom pieces that I'm going to make for one of my Etsy sales. So I'm going to chill out and do some wire wrapping. Oops. And there's still dried up liquid polymer clay all over my desk there we go 
Okay, so that is important. What's that? The little lock switch on the bottom. Mm. Mm. Oh no, I hope your cat will be okay, Ruby. She says, I love kitties. My kitty is going in for surgery tomorrow. Amanda is singing Spanish for me. Hi, Vaughn. was watching your Wonder Woman headdress video with Kevin the other day. He suddenly got super excited when he saw you using the pen he made. His face lit up. Yes! <laughs> I, oh, we I, use those pens all We time. use them so much. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's we've we've got one in our money box for whenever we're at shows. It's what we write all of our sales down with. Um, I have to say, I really love your new workstation. Thanks, Shannon. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's like the whole room has a much better feel. My friend Lauren came over um, Tuesday, and we hung out quite a bit. And it was um, hmm. That was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. <laughs> Do you have enough paint and leather dyes? You could, come, you could coat the cardboard house and make it waterproof with some. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Mikio. Did some of her pugs died. No. Oh, found her that said. Mm hmm. Circle of life, right? <laughs> now you can give more pugs homes. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult. Yeah, okay. Mainly with all the stuff on the table. Craft room tour on my channel. Right on. Okay. Um, Randy's about to try to move some of my mess. Sam. And I think as a result, make even more of a mess. Why so I think I'm going to go. I, I didn't even get any crafting done today, you guys. I'm so sorry. I kind of cleaned up some mess, though. Did you? I did. Like, three things. Clean up this mess. Okay. I have to go clean up my mess. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see you guys later. I know. I'm so sorry. They say please don't leave. I don't wanna. He's gonna put stuff where it doesn't go. Bye, guys. <laughs> I love all of you. 